Greg Hanser, the RX-7, the winning car at Bathurst in the 12-hour at Easter time. Jimmy Richards, Brad Jones, Tim Grant, Peter Bradbury, Chris Sexton. That's how they're going to line up. Waiting for a start now. Jimmy Richards. Greg Hansford on the front row. The RX-7 has surprised quite a few people and gets off the line nicely too. Richards gets the power down, but the RX-7 just runs away to the first corner. This thing's got some mumbo. Yeah, it sure has. Jonesy's off uh, grid three. Didn't get such a good start, but he's slicing in there in the three. First time that the Lotus has been headed in this series right throughout the year. Brad Jones in the white Lotus in third place at the moment. It's a very good quick, quick car, the Lotus, and uh, he's having a little bit of trouble here, but I'm sure he'll get on the pace very quickly. Jimmy Grant doing a pretty good job too, and the white car sitting in behind the Lotus, that's him there. He's really hanging on car 21, Jimmy Grant, but look at this at the moment. Jimmy Richards, that's the view he's got of Greg Hansford. Closes up under brakes, the RX-7 in front now. Richo hasn't been driving this car much. His first round was at Winton, but he's definitely come to grips with it quickly. Little stab of the brakes there from Hansford as he just sets the car up. Looks a little bit twitchy here. Very, very fast at Bathurst in the 12-hour race. And so far doing a good job at Richo. Oh, you don't see him put a wheel off too often. He did. He put a bit of dust up there. He usually doesn't make many mistakes, and I'm sure he's just pushing pretty hard there. Brad Jones now gets the legs of the Lotus start working. You can see him closes up behind Jimmy Richards. One, two, and three. They've opened up a gap to uh, Jimmy Grant. He's just dropped off the pace now. Can't run with the big guys up front. This should be a really good dice for the lead. These first three guys are really pushing hard. They're pretty experienced campaigners, and, and they'll be working as hard as they can to get away from the rest of the pack. This is Peter Bradbury. Well back in the pack. Why are we looking here? We should be going back to one, two and three. I'm sure we'll do that in a moment. But the York Motors entry gets a bit of television time. Just Peter Bradbury. But let's go back to the leading cars. Here they come. Jimmy Richards still in second place. Brad Jones in the Lotus. Can't find a way round. Greg Hansford at the moment doing a terrific job for the RX-7 out in front. This is where the dice is though. Brad Jones, he's closing right up on the back of Richo here. He's probably going to make a move down the straight. He'll get in the toe and see if he can get a good run. Jones now dives out of the slipstream, sets it up, and the Lotus goes whooshka. Down it goes, takes the place. Second place, Jimmy Richards back into third. Richo won't stand for that. I'm sure he'll come back. The Lotus has got a lot of power, though, in that straight line. Jones uncomfortably second and look at Richards oh a little touch there no doubt about there and that's a nice expensive fifo on the Lotus don't want to be paying the bills for that one he sure won't be and uh, he'll be back with a vengeance here we go again the replay from in car Richards car well, he gets a bit of a touch on Jones they're really fighting hard here Brad Jones really gets a little sideway in front of Jimmy Richards, and I tell you what, rarely do you see Jimmy Richards touch anybody. No, he's one of the. He's a very clean driver, cleanest out there, and uh, it's not often that uh, gentleman Jim get, comes in contact. Bit of traffic now for these two. That could be a headache too. You can see the dingle on both cars from that little touch. The Lotus of Jones still running second. Greg Hansford of the RX-7 way out in front of the moment. It's just run away. There's the gap there. You can see it briefly. But this light is pretty looking car, isn't it? It's a beautiful looking car and a hell of a lot of horsepower. Uh, Jonesy gets the car around the circuit very, very well. Brad Jones. You can see him in the office there working pretty hard. Jimmy Richards just drops off a little bit now as the Lotus Lakes start to find their way around this tight and twisty lakeside circuit. Their little battles allowed um, Greg Hansman to get away a little bit. There's the Mazda. He's working that car very, very well. Very successful since racing in Australia, these cars. They're basically undefeated. They are. They've won the, the Easter Bathurst 12 out three times in a row, and uh, they'll probably be looking to do it again. Well, Greg Hansman heading for the chequered flag now. He's a very much underrated driver, this fellow. It doesn't matter what he drives. He drives cleanly, quickly and you never see him put a bingle on too many of them. Flashes over for the chequered flag. Good win first time out for Greg Hansford. Now, results a little surprising. Brad Jones in the latest takes first place from Jim Richards, Tim Grant. They're the top three. Unfortunately, Greg Hansford and the RX-7 excluded for some modifications on the top of the front struts. Now, that's under appeal at the moment. So Brad Jones inherits the lead in the Lotus, and Greg Hansford pretty disappointed after that. It was a good drive.